Martin, firstly, a great away result at Wigan last weekend and you've had a whole week of preparation. How are things looking in terms of the squad and fitness levels? There's four or five players coming back from injury. Uh, they are not match fit yet, but they trained with us since Thursday. If you talk about the likes of De Jaga, Kieran Richardson, Philip Sendos, so uh, Kieran Frey, so they will be back in, uh, in consideration for probably the next game, not for tomorrow. Uh, we've got, of course, the year out. He had a minor operation on his knee. He will be out for the next three or four weeks. And we had a disappointing injury in, uh, in Dimitar Berbatov yesterday. So he will be out for the next 10 days or two weeks. Can you tell us what that injury is? He felt it in his uh, upper thigh. So it was more or less his, his hip and he can't stretch it. So that was uh, rather painful. So we scanned him and he can't play uh, tomorrow. I guess the good news with Brian Ruiz being back and Mladen Petric being back also gives you some options and obviously Brian yeah. was responsible for the assist with Damien Duff's second goal last weekend. Yeah, that was very positive. So Brian will return and Mladen will be there. So they are involved tomorrow. Of course Hugo is, so we've got uh, still got the options to play uh, uh, a replacement for Dimitar of course. In terms of Manchester City, obviously they have a plethora of talent at their disposal, but they've also been playing a different system and a different lineup almost every game since the beginning of the season. How difficult is it to prepare for that kind of game and that kind of formation? Of course, they've got a lot of options, especially up front. But if you see their squad, they've got two players in all positions. So uh, against Aston Villa, they played a different team. Uh, so we probably know and can guess what the team will be against us tomorrow because that will be the team they played in their last match against Arsenal. Of course, they played against Real Madrid before that and they played different sides, but uh, we know the strongest side and they probably know as well. But of course, they've got the likes of Tevez, for example, who played uh, matches and Jacko is still there. So there won't be a lot of difference in quality, but uh, certainly tomorrow, Silva, of course, and Aguero and maybe Nasri, although he seems to have a little problem. But then they got Milner on the right, who played 90, uh, against Esther Villa. So they've got so many options, you know. But in midfield, of course, I feel that uh, they will play the same midfield with uh, Touré and uh, Garcia. And at the back, of, of course, we know them all. So I can mention all these names, but they've got uh, a big squad. And of course, they play different teams, but uh, we know on and about what their strongest team is and uh, which players will play against us tomorrow. Has that given you uh, a lot of time to prepare, obviously, over the course, a course of the week with a, a set formation that they will play in mind? Yeah, but it doesn't matter if they play uh, Tevez or Aguero or Dzeko or, or Balotelli. You know, they've got all these options and they're all world-class players, so it doesn't really matter. But they play the same system almost uh, every game. The only thing is... Uh, yeah, in England, you play a bit more rigid. They play with the wide players who go infield. Uh, they've got a license to go infield, and that is probably their strength. But hopefully, we can uh, try to play our strengths as well, to our strengths as well, and, and, and try to hurt them what we certainly didn't do in the first half last season, but we did that in the second half, and hopefully, we can build on that. You have the injury concerns and now obviously the loss of Dimitar, but you must be able to take great confidence from the fact that there are now two wins, that the home form is good and that going into the game the players are full of confidence. Yeah, I felt that uh, although uh, and we know these, these players who, who went, we've got uh, almost a settled side now. You know, The only thing is, yeah, Dimitar of course is a, is a quality player for us, but don't forget when uh, Mladen Petric played his first game here against Norwich, he scored two goals. So. Of course, Dimitar is a, is, is a quality player, but Mladen Petric as well. Rodi Jäger showed in the last couple of games when he was match fit and we played him. He has, he's got the quality, so we certainly got the players who could probably do something and hurt them. Of course, you've had a new midfield pairing with Chris Baird and Steve Sidwell. You must be really pleased with the way that they seem to have gelled together. No, we always uh, wanted, you know, we always knew that they can play together. And uh, Chris Baird, of course, played in midfield before. Uh, Steven Sitwo is, a, is, a, is a, a very good uh, established midfield player, so the only thing was against Norwich, you know, we had to start again and then uh, uh, of course Dembele left and, and Dempsey left and uh, Diago was injured, so we started again with Chris and uh, Steven against Sheffield Wednesday, didn't come off probably, the whole team was not playing well, but in the second time we played them together against West Brom, they did ever so well and against Wigan, you know. Uh, 
Chris was probably um, uh, influential. Stephen uh, came back because mm. to his uh, old level, because of course he didn't play all these games, and uh, I think he did very well. So they they are looking pretty good, you know, together. And of course we've got uh, Garagunas now as a replacement. Uh, we've got young uh, uh, Pato Kasami, so we've got uh, several options. And of course, these are the games that you relish, Craig and Cottage playing the champions. Yeah, you could say, you know, there's nothing to lose, but of course we have, because we've got nine points now and we would like to have 12, so um, with our home ground backing us, uh, I still feel that uh, that we might have a chance, you know, even playing with our Berbatov, we still have got the quality up front. So if we try to be compact, defend well, I think, uh, keep the ball well, but because that is important against these teams, then we're always in for a chance. We wish you luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you.